Two ingredients in less than half an hour, pumpkin muffins. Here we go. If you could have seen my kids devour this batch of muffins in less than 48 hours, you would have already run to the store for these two ingredients. They're so good. They are light, tender, moist, delicious. The perfect bite of fall. These literally melt in your mouth. You've got to make these pumpkin cinnamon roll cookies. These cookies are so pretty, yet so easy. For the filling, just combine a stick of melted butter, a half cup brown sugar, and a tablespoon of cinnamon. Let that chill in the fridge for a sec, then spread a thin layer onto the dough. Roll it up tightly, wrap in plastic, then freeze for about two hours. Now just slice and bake. 350 degrees for 11 to 12 minutes, and your house will smell amazing. Mm. It's like a bite of fall. Chewy, crispy, perfectly spiced, and so addicting. Pumpkin cheesecake enchiladas? Yes, please. And before you say anything, yes, I realize these aren't real enchiladas, but boy, are they a tasty treat for our favorite fall flavor. Mix two blocks of cream cheese with half a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of brown sugar before adding one can of well-drained pumpkin and a small box of cheesecake instant pudding mix. This creamy filling is stuffed inside flour tortillas and coated in butter and cinnamon sugar before getting air fried. 400 degrees for about three minutes is all it takes for that good churro effect. We top it, of course, with whipped cream, caramel sauce, and graham crackers because cheesecake. Look at that. Amazing. And the crunch for the perfect bite. Who knew pumpkin cheesecake could taste so good? I'm making caramel with one ingredient and half the time for half the price. First up, remove the label. You don't even have to open the can. Set it down in the Instant Pot on the rack. Cover the can with water. Cover and high pressure for 35 minutes. Wait at least 20 minutes or so before opening the can because you don't want hot sugar all over you. Delicious. Here's the official taste test of Starbucks new fall drinks, the Apple Crisp Macchiato. Okay, they smell really good. The average presentation. Mmm, a lot of caramel apple flavors. Not too much spice and really not too sweet either. I was expecting like a, like a candy apple. The cream, the caramel, the apple, it all works together really nicely. Now for the ice drink because it is still too hot out. Some pretty creamy swirls. Something rather solid going on at the bottom there. I hope it's not just pure syrup. Whoa, a lot more coffee flavor in this one. A little bit underwhelming. Whoa, but you know you're gonna be caffeinated after that. The further I get through it, I really actually do like it. I just needed it all to really melt together. Summary of the taste test, apple and coffee, they work. I'd be sooner to order one of these over a PSL, not just to be different, but because it's not overly sweet, which is a nice change. Highly recommend, not sponsored though. One Angry Richard and one shot of Fireball makes Angry Balls. Don't judge, but this is my favorite drink for fall. And it tastes like cinnamon apples. So good. These adorable French toast puffs are made out of Hawaiian rolls and look too good to be true. We're just gonna beat three eggs with a quarter cup milk, one teaspoon vanilla, two tablespoons sugar, one teaspoon cinnamon, four teaspoon nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. Now dunk and totally coat your little bread rolls and cook on a medium heat skillet with butter for about 30 seconds per side. Just keep flipping. I could die happy in front of this plate. But if you really feel like chefing, make a filling with a mixture of cream cheese and strawberry jam. Put it in a piping bag and check this out. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And the bite. Shut the front door and the back door. Golly, that was so good. Jones turkey and gravy soda. It's really just supposed to be more of a joke than an actual tasty drink, so cheers. Ah! At first it tasted kind of good, and then you're hit with some saltiness, and then a sweetness like that of a spiral ham, paired with maybe the flavor of drippings. So foul. I'll never get that. 